we now come to a new topic called electrochemical cell and gibbs free energy of the reaction we have studied the gibbs free energy in class 11 so let me take you back to that <coughs> a bit <coughs> so gibbs free energy is the maximum work we have studied that the change in gibbs free energy okay the This is called Gibbs free energy. Okay. Now, whatever is the change in the Gibbs free energy, that is delta G. Okay, G is the Gibbs free energy, and and delta G. That is change in the Gibbs free energy, which means delta G, which is equal to G of product minus G of reactant that is equal to the maximum amount of work of work done by a reaction or that system which undergoes a chemical right this is the amount of work that is maximum amount of work that is done by a reaction okay now now what happens now the work done is maximum the work done is a maximum if it is done if it is done reversibly if it is done reversibly what do we mean by a reversible work if if this is a system this is the pressure inside and there is a pressure outside Suppose the inner pressure is greater than the external pressure, then this piston will have a tendency to move outward, is it not? So it will have a tendency to move outward, right? Now what happens if that is the case and I suddenly leave this piston so that it goes there, goes outward in a jerk, then that is an irreversible work that you are doing, right? If you want to do a reversible work, you have to keep the, move the piston ever so slightly that that at all points of time the difference between this and this is, is is minuscule that means you have to maybe hold it and gradually release it ever so slowly okay so that it moves infinitesimally slowly okay that means it moves slower than the slowest that you can even imagine that is when you are doing a reversible work by reversible work, by, by a reversible work, you mean at every point of the, of the movement of the piston, the system is at equilibrium, okay? The system is at equilibrium, okay? Now, here, the work done, this is equal to W max. Now, what is the maximum work done in a reaction? W max is equal to what? For that, if, if, the, if the potential of the cell is, potential of the cell is, cell is equal to 
E cell. Then what is the work done? Now let us try to understand. <coughs> let us say we have to go to electricity for this. Let us say there are two points A and B at potentials VA and VB. Okay? If you go back and study the electricity of class 12, you'll understand that potential V is the work done in bringing in bringing a plus one coulomb charge from infinity to the point under consideration. Whatever point you want the potential to be known at, you have to, from infinity, you have to bring it to that point, right? Now what happens? Now, now, what is the potential difference? Say, say if VA is greater than VB, then what happens? Then what happens? You have done some work WA in bringing it, uh, that, that work itself is known as VA, right? This is actually potential energy. So, so hold on. So, so you do a work WA in bringing it from infinity to this point. You do a work WB in bringing it from infinity to this point. When you are moving with plus one coulomb in both the cases, right? Then you can very well understand that the work done in getting it from here to here is what? If work done in getting it from B to A is this, then you can very well understand that WB, work done in getting it from infinity to B, plus the work done in getting it from B to A should be equal to work done in getting from infinity to A. Why? Because you learn that this is a conservative field and the the path that you take in bringing an object from infinity to a point is immaterial, okay? So we come to the conclusion that WBA is equal to WA minus WB, okay? And, and this is what you term as the potential. This is what you term as potential. Work done in getting a plus one Coulomb charge from infinity to a point is termed as termed as VA, fine? So, so, so the external, an external agency has to do work. This is equal to, this is actually greater than positive. If WBA is greater than positive, it means that the work is being done by the external agency. Work done by external agency. If, if the work is done by the system, then it will become negative. We will we'll see. What happens if I move it from here to here? So, WAB will be VB minus, negative of this, right? VB minus VA, which is less than 0. So, what happens? Work is done by the system. The work is done by the system. We understand? Whenever the work is done by the system, we take it as negative. Okay? And, and if you move plus one coulomb, then the work done is simply the difference of the the, the potential and, and let us say if I call difference VA minus VB as V, then here the work done is V and here the work done is minus V, right? This is when you bring in one coulomb. What if you get in Q coulombs instead of this? Then the work done would have become WBA instead of being V, get multiplied by Q. That is the charge that you are getting in. Okay? The charge that you are getting in. 
फिर ये मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वी ओके ओके अंडरस्टैंड सो वेन एवर वी हैव द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दैट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द चार्ज दैट यू ट्रांसफर दैट बिकम्स द वर्क चार्ज विथ दैट वी नो दैट द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज ई सेल एंड i i decide to pass if if n moles of an electron if n moles of electron passes then the w mass will be equal to minus n f e cell why this is the amount of charge that has been passed which is this and this is the potential difference across which it has happened and since the work is de being done by the system i have put this as a negative quantity do we get the point 